Hey, what is up you guys? This is ZK, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a skybox into your map. You can see here on a picture of Hoster and Toten, which I am almost ready to release. It'll be ready on uh, January 1st of 2013. You can see I got a nice skybox in the background, which I just added. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to add your own skybox into the map. So first thing that you're going to need to do is, uh, let me open up my folder where I have all of the, oh, uh, where is it? There it is where I have all of these skyboxes. They're all listed out for you. So first of all, you're going to need to pick... Uh, here we go. Two, there we go. Alright, so here's the name of the skybox. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll through all the skyboxes. And uh, you're going to pick out the one that you want and mark down the name. So if you like this skybox, go ahead and mark down this name. And we're just going to move on to the next one. There's that one. Ah, man. I don't like it that I have to zoom in on them all the time. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, that one, I'm not going to zoom in anymore, you guys. You can just go to full screen and watch this. There's Skybox Fly. Go ahead and pause it if you want to, and you can look at them more closely. Skybox Hole 1, Hole 2, Hole 3, Mech 1, MP Court, MP Knee, Skybox Oki 1, Oki 2, Oki 3, Pell 1, Pell 1B, Prologue, I use, this is the one that I'm using in my Nazi Zombie Haas, Rai 1, Rai 2, Rai 3, C1, C2, Sniper, Test, Skybox Zombie, alright, that's the last one, and I believe that this one is the one that they use in Doriza or as some people pronounce it, Derise or Deris. So um, go, if you didn't get one picked out, go back in the video and you can watch through all those again. And uh, make sure you mark down the name. I have the name written right on there for you. All right. The first thing I want to dispel is a rumor where you go to, in your Radiant, you go to Misc and then Model. And then you put in a skybox model. And that works for a small map like this. You can see I have a skybox model in here. But watch what happens if I go out too far. The skybox model disappears because you can see on my two-dimensional view here that it only encompasses this small portion, and I can't make it any bigger or any smaller. This is stuck the way it is. So let me delete that, and that's a rumor, and I had that in one of my other videos, and I apologize for that. Um, but now this is the right way to make a skybox, all right? So with absolutely nothing selected, push escape a couple of times, and then uh, push N on your keyboard once or twice, and you'll come up with this. It'll say class name world spawn. In the key, you want to type in skybox ah, skybox model, all right? So there, type in skybox model. And the next thing you want to type in is the name of the skybox which you picked out. So skybox, I'm just going to go with Oki1 and then push enter. And there you go. Then it, um, Radiant will automatically put in your skybox and it's an infinite skybox. It'll go forever so you can make your map as big as you want to now. The skybox is encompassed around the map for good. So go ahead and save your map, and I'm going to close it. And now we just need to do just a, a wee bit of scripting. All right, so open up... Uh, what am I doing? There we go. Open up your uh, World at War folder and go to, let's see, Zone Source. And find your CSV file, which would be Nazi Zombie, your map name. So mine is Nazi Zombie Test 2. Um, depending on, which comp on the computer security settings, you might have to move that file to your documents otherwise the computer might not let you edit it so down here way at the bottom you'll see x model blah 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 here's what we're going to do all right push enter after you go by um 30 cal bipod lmg push enter and start a new line type in x model comma no space skybox and then whatever your skybox is so i picked okie okay, one so that's the one, X model, Skybox, OK1, all right? That's what you want to do. Save it. Because even though it shows up, your Skybox shows up in Radiant, that does not mean that it will show up in the game. It might be blurry or it just might not show up at all. So in order to fix that, we just edit it in a line in our CSV file, which tells the game that that's our Skybox. All right, so open up Launcher, find your map, Nazi Zombie Test. You're going to want to compile your mod, or not your mod, your level. And this shouldn't take too long, depending on if my computer feels like being slow or not. 
I mean, for a, for a $600 laptop, I mean, this computer really gets the job done for gaming and compiling and all the stuff I need to do to make the maps. <sighs> but it, it is it does slow down a little bit when I'm recording, so I apologize for that. But this is a fairly small map, so it'll be done pretty quick here. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, guys, I have a whole series on how to create your map, um, all the way from, you know, just installing the mod tools to edit it to, like, actually making your map. And uh, I'll have a new video coming out of terrain editing, so you can make, you know, like, ground and things like that, um, you know, with the levels, and you can bring a... Ah, oh, it's hard to explain. So it little like, basically make piles of dirt if you want to or you can make indents in the ground so there's like a hole or you know things like that I'll show you guys how to do all that in a terrain editing video and yeah so I hope that'll be coming soon here I've been wanting to do this skybox video for a while and I'm finally getting it out for you guys um hopefully I, it helps you and it's almost done Ugh, it does feel like being slow this normally takes like two seconds maybe it maybe I'm just running on battery yeah, because I'm down in my room running on battery. i got 35 minutes left, 46% remaining. When I'm compiling levels, it takes forever. It takes like a, a whole bunch of battery life. So that's why I have 40, half my battery remaining, but it only says a half an hour left. If I were just, you know, browsing on the internet or playing like Stronghold Crusader or something like that, then I'd have like three or four hours, maybe five of battery life. Good grief, it's taking forever. It never takes this long. Come on, hurry up. I apologize, guys. It never takes this long. Otherwise, I would have paused the video so I could compile it. Jeez, man. This is really taking a long time. Already a minute, and it's still stuck on this air. Come on, man. Let's do this. Let's get on. Get on with things here. Come on, computer. I got a video to finish. I don't want to make this video ten minutes long. Okay, it's almost done. Hurry up. Almost done. There we go. All right. So now you want to build your mod. I'm not sure if you have to build your mod, but we're going to anyway. Do, 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 do. Okay, build the mod. There we go. And I think... I think I made a mistake, guys, because this is my testing map, but we'll see if I can run it. <laughs> I've been testing zappers right now, and I've been having scripting trouble. Um, we'll see if this works here. Man, my computer really feels like being slow today. Hurry up. Okay, let's start map. Zombie test 2. It'll probably give me a script compile error, because I still have that code that I need to change. Yes, it does. All right. I am really, really sorry about this, guys. I just have to change something quick. I'm going to pause the video and then change my thread, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Never fear, guys. ZK is here, and I just finished uh, changing my script so that I get that error out of the way, and we're going to run the game. Do -do -do. All right. Map. Zombie test two. Oh, I spelled it wrong. No, there I did it again. Man, I really need to take a typing class. All right, loading up the level. And no error. Sweet. All right. And there we go, guys. Behold its awesomeness. The amazing, the amazingness of amazing here with my beautiful skybox that I have. All right, so there you go, guys. That was my video on how to create a skybox. Oh, dogs already on round two? What the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I changed that. I forgot about that. Whee! All right, I might... Um, that's a little interesting. Unfortunately, the dogs cannot spawn right now because I have them. They're all messed up. Again, this is my testing map, so I just do random stuff on here. But anyway, uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will hope to see you next time on some of my other videos. I have lots of videos on custom zombies, 
and uh, I have a trailer for this map right now, and I'm working on a new trailer, of updated one, since the old trailer was as of a month ago. So I've done a lot more stuff to the map and made it a lot cooler and got this awesome picture taken last week. Oh, it looks really, really awesome. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on my other videos. Uh, this is ZK signing off.